Hello, you guys, and thank you for tuning in to Created for Purpose to listen to this podcast. Today, I am truly excited because I have an amazing guest that will also give us a wonderful word from the Lord. He's just going to allow God to use him, and he's just going to bless many of you on today. So welcome, Braylon. How are you doing? Good. All right. Tell us a little bit about yourself. So I'm eight years old, and I like to play games, and I love God. Amen. All right. So, Braylon, what is it that, you know, you want to talk about today? Because one of the things that I like to say is it's very important for our children to know God, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And it is important that, you know, children understand who God is. Do you understand who God is? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, tell me a little bit about that. So, God is our Father. Mm-hmm. He is also Jesus because mm-hmm. he created Jesus, mm-hmm. but he's basically Jesus. Mm-hmm. So, and he's our Holy Spirit. That's right. And... So he created us because he knew we would be kind people. That's right. And he created us because he because he knew we would love everyone. Mhm. And he loves us too, right? Mhm. That's right. And so what is one of the scriptures that I taught you that holds close to your heart? Um No weapon from the against me shall prosper. That's right. And do you know what that means? It means that God, that means that there's no weapon formed against God shall prosper. And us. That's right. And us. That's right. And that means that anytime the devil comes up against us. You just say no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And it won't work. Ain't that right? Or you can just say, say Jesus' name. And how do you say that? Just say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. That's right. That's all you just say. Because what happens is, is that when you call on the name of Jesus, the devil has to flee, right? Yep, because the devil doesn't like Jesus. Yeah, he doesn't like Jesus, does he? And the reason why God kicked him out of heaven is because... He wanted not to obey God, and he wanted to be the king of heaven. He wanted to be the king of heaven. That's right, baby. That's the best way to do it. And that was not going to happen, was it? Mm -mm. Because who's greater? God. That's right. And what is one of the things that you tell yourself every single day? Um, I am the head and not the tails. I am above and not below. And I am wonderfully and fearfully made because God said so in the Bible. Yeah, that's right. And he wonderfully made us. We, we are not at the back of the line. We're in the front of the line. And we are not below anyone. We're above anyone. Mm-hmm. That's right. Because that's how God created us to be. Right? And he created us to be fearless. That's right, to be fearless. So when we, when we go to God... We can't be fearful of God, right? Mm -hmm. We got to come boldly to him. We got to come fearlessly. That's right, because that's what he wants. But we also got to show respect, right? Mm -hmm. That's it. We definitely got to show respect. Now, how do you feel about love? Because God is love, right? Mm -hmm. So do we just love certain people? Or how does that we supposed to love everybody? How does that work? We're supposed to love everyone, no matter what. No matter if they don't like God, we're supposed to love everyone if we're a person of God. That's right. That's right. That's why Valentine's Day was made, just for love. It was made just for love. But we're not supposed to limit our love for just that day, though, are we? Mm -mm. That's right. We're supposed to do it every day. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, what else you want to share about uh, God and, and, and whatever is on your mind? Like, I want to, like, share that the devil, 
is never going to want to get you. And as long as you stay praying, as long as you stay praying, and you keep saying Jesus' name when you, when you uh, hear the devil coming. Uh-huh. And just believe instead of thinking. Now, you said to, to just believe. What do we believe? We believe that God is going to do what we pray for. Oh, so we even though we don't see it right now, he's going to do it. He's going to do it soon. That's right. We believe and we have to believe. Now, should we like think he that he'll do it? No, or? we just believe. We just believe don't it. Think. So, but but if we're asking God, what what if we're not sure, but we're asking God, you know, it's kind of like I don't know, God. If, if don't it, say you don't know. Just believe. Okay, we're just believing. Just believe in God, and He'll tell you that He'll do it soon. He'll do it soon. Yes, and you know, one of the things is is that as long as we believe God and know that He's going to do it on His time then, you know, we have to understand that God doesn't tell any tales, does he? Mm-mm, that's the devil. That's the devil. That's right. And that's the difference, right? Mm-hmm. Because God will always tell us the truth. But the devil will always tell us the tales. That's right. And sometimes the devil takes God's voice and pretends to be God to talk to us. That's right. He sure does. That's why the Bible tells us that his sheep which is his children, knows his voice, Mm -hmm. right? So we have to be able to know whether it's God or whether it's the devil. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes the devil can try to be a little tricky and act like God. Because when we see, like, clouds, Mm -hmm. that's like a, a, a sign to God. Oh, yeah? Clouds are like a sign to God. Like, if you see, like... Like, some people have seen angels in clouds. Uh-huh. And, uh-huh. Um, yeah, some people have seen angels. Remember the day that um, you and I was, I was taking you to school? Uh-huh. And when we pulled up to the school, when we lo- you looked up and you was like, look. And when we looked up in the sky, it was like a cross in the clouds. Do you remember that? Uh-huh. You pointed it out to it me. It was representing God. That's right. And he was letting us know that he is still God and he is with us everywhere we go, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. So, you know, as Braylon was saying is that we have to trust God to be God in all things and not just trust God in all things. We shouldn't think about it. And a lot of times he corrects me. And tells me, Mommy, don't think, just believe. And, and you know, that is the truth. Um, because the devil will come in and try to, you know, make us believe that, you know. God we can't, won't do it. God, exactly, Braylon, that God won't do it. When we know that God will do it. Um, And then we also got to be discerning of, you know, God's voice. Just as Braylon said, we have to know the difference between, you know, when God is speaking to us and when the devil is speaking to us. Like, if you go to church, you could either wear white, gold, or like any color that you think that any like angel would wear. Okay. No like black or red because we know that's some de- the devil colors. That's the devil's colors. Well, see, I didn't know that, but you know, thanks for letting us know. But you know what? I, I, I get the concept of where you're going with that. Now, is there anything else that you want to share with everybody? Just believe, huh? I understand that. Well, you guys, you heard it. This is just a little bonus. Braylon just wanted to give his insight, you know, with God and, you know, the devil. And he just wanted to encourage many of you also that God does love us, right? Mm -hmm. And that we can learn a lot in the Bible just by reading it and that we have to treat everybody good, right? Yeah. So, we love you guys. And we'll see you in the next one, maybe, if I'm still here. If I'm there. If you're still here, you mean if you're able to (laughs) record again? Yeah. 
Well, you heard it from him, y'all. He's thinking about coming back. And maybe one day we'll just let him do a whole podcast podcast by himself. Maybe an episode by himself. Because one of the things I do love is that, you know, Braylon does love the Lord. Um, you and know, I love church. And he loves church. Yes, he does. And, you know, he's he's staying on the right path. And this is exactly what we want, especially with our children. And we must set the example for our children. We just don't talk about it. We want our children to see us living the life that is pleasing to God. Um, and that's one of the things that Braylon and I try to do. There are times to where I have to encourage Braylon. There are times Braylon encourages me as well. Um, so we're all in this together. And as he learned today when we were out, not only am I his mom and he's my son. But we're brother and sister in Christ. Absolutely. So, um, you know, we, we want to love everyone as God loves us because to love God is to love others. Just as Braylon said, it doesn't matter, you know, if we know them or not, it doesn't matter if they're good to us or not. We just want to show the love Love of God. God. Amen. Anything else? All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next time. If I can. (laughs) (laughs) Bye-bye.